I'm so honored to be with you to communicate academic ideas. I come from Hebei University of Technology, China, and the title of my academic presentation is PPG Best Stratification of Blood Pressure in the Multi Information Fusion Artificial Neural Network. The content is listed as introduction, materials, and methods, results, and finally, the discussion. Let's get into the topic now. Blood pressure is an important physiological parameter for assessing cardiovascular health. At the present, cuff based environment devices have been widely used in hospitals which are not convenient and comfortable for daily use. In the past decades, many new approaches have been proposed to achieve cuffless environment. Among them, PPT based method is the most attractive as it enables the environment to use only a PPT sensor or even a camera. The effect of PTT based method was verified rapidly in 2018 through its data used PTT alongside other PPT features as the input of a recurrent neural network to estimate BP and achieve a very high accuracy. However, the shortcomings of PTT, PTT based method are also obvious. Firstly, the calculation of PTT requires two sensors to synchronously collect physiological signals, which increases the complexity of the detection. Besides, the time delay of the collected signals from two sensors must be accurately calculated, which requires precise synchronization and a lot of efforts for signal preprocessing. Therefore, more and more studies on BP measurement use only PPT signal appear. Among them, combining artificial extract features with machine learning or deep learning algorithms in the main direction. The purpose of our study is listed here. In our study, a new method is proposed to achieve biocategory BB stratification as it is sufficient to judge cardiovascular status by BB levels rather than precise BB values. The method is a multi information fusion artificial neural network to combine multiple input features and the details of the network will be discussed later. Table 1 is the BB stratification criteria used in our study. Well, let's move to the next part of this topic. Figure 1 shows the framework of our method where a public database that contains 2,000 samples is used as a source. BP signals are used to generate BP category labels and BP signals are used to extract time and frequency domain features to build an MIF and AMN network. Here, I'd like to use figure 2 to illustrate how the BP category levels were extracted from BP signals. It is obvious that the public UCI database covers all kinds of BP categories such as hypotension, low tension, good hypertension, and hypertension. Finally, BP category levels were obtained using one how to include it. The extracted features include the cycle, PPT, VPT, and APT signals, and the temporal spectrum graph obtained from continuous wavelet transfer. The purpose is to obtain only directional representations of pulse wave PPT signals from both time and frequency domain. Big 4 is the designed MIFAN model to improve BP stratification accuracy, which combines multiple AN classifiers for processing different input data respect. Temporal spectrum graph is fed into a convolutional neural network while single cycle PPG, VPG, APG vectors are fed to three long short term memory networks respectively. The outputs of four networks are then concatenated and passed into a multi layer perspective model, which consists of two things layers and one output. The final output layer uses softmax function to produce predicted results of the categories. Using the method, I'd like to show the experiment conducted with five is the result of training with stratification mode. All the modeling training and testing are based on tensor flow and carol speed and the box. On the test environment, considering the amount of data and the extreme computational complexity, when training the MIFAN model, a high performance GP workstation is used. The test result of BBC. Stratification is shown in Table 2, where other well established methods to use the PPG signal are compared. 
our method achieved error journey accuracy of 91%. Furthermore, the accuracy of BP stratification using single PPG feature and multiple PPG features are compared to verify whether the fusion of multi information is reasonable and effective. The result validated that the accuracy of BP stratification can be significantly improved by providing multiple information from time and frequency domain using a specially designed deep learning architecture. Here is the main contribution of our study. The experiments are conducted on a large database which conduces to train a good general model. The extracted features are harvested which improve the bias to noise and therefore are helpful for camera-based deployment moving towards application. And the MIF AN model, which consists of one thing and three LSTM networks, is designed to achieve effective viewing of multiple input features. The main focus of our research research is on whether the trained MIF AI model is suitable for the pulse collected by ourselves using consumer cameras. Besides, individual information such as age, gender, and height should be added to our model for personalized collaboration in each work.